It's been a long time since I done a YouTube video, probably about 24 hours. Very long for me personally, as you guys know, Mr. Consistency giving you guys content every single day. First break in about 65 days, but before you know what, I need some rest, recharge the batteries, didn't play no PS4, went straight to sleep, got about 9 to 10 hours sleep, and I feel good, man, so I'm back. What's going on, guys? Well, what chills? Back again with another video for you guys, and I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. I missed that line so much. As always, I give you guys the latest Chelsea news, news in, news out, usually in the last 12 to 24 hours, but this one's going to be in the last 36 to 48 hours FC. So guys, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button, let's get at least 600 likes, subscribe if you're new here, hit the bell notification, it's free, help me get the 20k subscribers, and make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak. I want to say also, before I get into all the news, there's a lot of debate between UK fans that go to games against international fans that watch the game worldwide. And I want to say... We are all one, okay? Whether you can go to games or not, international fans, we are nothing without you. It's as simple as that. Player sales, merch, all of those things, we cannot do it without you guys. Even my channel right now, I cannot do it without you guys. So you guys are as important as the ones that can go to games, of course, which help. Basically, everyone's all one. That's all I want to say. I don't want to see no debate, no hate between each other. We're all one, man. Support each other. That's our community, basically. So... As the name says on the channel, worldwide, it's for the fans worldwide, of course, for the Chelsea community. So I want to make that very clear because there's a lot of, you know, hate for no reason. So we'll get straight into it. According to Sky Germany, Bayern Munich are ready to renew their interest in Chelsea winger Callum hudson -Dunn. Now we know two years ago, under Sarri, Callum hudson was this close to joining Bayern Munich. He, get, he got advice from Rudiger about Germany as well. But luckily he stayed, he signed a new contract and since then he's had some bad luck with his personal life, with some injuries. Um, I really want him to get back to his best. He needs to be implemented in the team very, very slowly and make sure you don't rush him like getting those long-term injuries. So yeah, I'm not surprised Bayern Munich want him, but it does say Bayern Munich want to sign Kalanzana on a loan with an option to buy after. Uh, the Red Bulls and Juventus are also interested in the player. Now, of course, many fans are saying, why is Callum hudson doing not playing as many games anymore? Um, he should have been starting against Brighton, which I do believe. But I feel this is a very, very long season. We just need to be a bit more patient. I do have to give the same energy to Lampard like we've done with Sarri. Why he's not playing Callum hudson -Doy. I did say it as well. I didn't understand it. But you know what? It's a very long season. Let's judge it over the next couple of games. Hopefully, hudson -Doy gets his opportunities because I'm sure Frank Lampard will give it. We need to remember this job is very, very pressured. We need to deliver. And Liverpool is a very big game, which I'm looking forward to doing a live stream with all you guys, or all you beautiful people, like I always say. Let me know if you want to see a live stream review or watch along, or both, in fact. Make sure. Um, now, Mendy, the goalkeeper. This is a story that I could have done yesterday night. Okay, I was this close to making a video, but I thought, you know what? Let me see every single side of the story because I'm hearing back and forth stories. I'm hearing Fabrizio Romano saying it's a done deal. I'm hearing some guy saying, yep, yeah, personal terms done, but the fee isn't done, okay? So I wanted to put A and B together to give you guys C right now, you know what I mean? So, of course, we've got a guy called Paul. I can't pronounce his um, surname. I'm going to leave in the description. Mended to Chelsea imminent. Blues will pay initial 20 mil fee. Fabrizio Romano said, Chelsea have already, already completed the signing of Mendy from Renners. But we had GFFN Telefoot come out saying still no final agreement between Chelsea and Rennes for Mendy. Chelsea are now trying to include Tomori in the deal. Now, as I said, I don't understand that, but we'll get into that as well. Fabrizio Romano responded on the different tweet, okay? Nothing has changed. It's just a matter of time between two clubs complete the paperwork. Then Mendy will be joining Chelsea. Said also yesterday, as Havertz, be patient and he'll join Chelsea. I think Mendy went back to training today with Rennes, which is normal by the way. Just because a player is trying to join another club doesn't mean you report you don't report by the training. You're still their player, so you're still required to go train when needed, unless they tell you you don't need to come to the stadium. We know the captain, the manager, has spoken about how important this player is to the team, but they understand his move that he's making for the future. So I know it's going to be a done deal. I don't know how much it's going to be. We're hearing 18 million, then we're hearing 20 million, then we're hearing 20 million plus bonuses. <coughs> we're hearing different things, basically. You know what I mean? So I'm going to wait for it for a bit longer. It will be a done deal. It is a done deal. Um, he will join a Chelsea. He'll be a Chelsea player very, very soon. It's just the free. I cannot, you know, tell you how much it is. But just like Carvets, we thought we hit 70, 80 million. It was actually 62 million pounds, okay? And 8 million add-ons. So... We just need a bit more patient. 
Now, Tomori, part of the deal does not make sense. I told you guys, Zuma was our best defender last season for Chelsea, personally. He deserves to stay. We shouldn't even be selling him. Christensen had a few decent games, went off. Rudy got a few decent games and went off. And they weren't reliable. Now, individually, against Brighton, they done very well, the defenders that played. But Thiago Silva is expected to come into the team straight away and be first team football, uh, play first team football, of course. And he should be helping out defence. Even though the defenders that played against Brighton played fantastically individually, as a team, defensively, they were not good enough. There was too many spaces, too many gaps, too many chances given away and putting Kepa under pressure. I didn't think Kepa had a bad game. I felt a top, top goalkeeper would have saved that shot. Um, but when I look at the replays, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. So I'm going to support Kepa on here. And when Mendy comes in, whether he starts straight away or not, will be a big statement. But Frank Lampard sounds like he was very happy with Kepa with his performance. It is improving but he needs to see a bit more. So tomorrow for me, should be staying at Chelsea. I don't know why we'll be offering Rennes if we're going to be signing this goalkeeper for quite a lot of money, around £20 million. So hopefully Chelsea do not make this mistake. Also, a couple of days ago, before all these stories, according to another French outlet, Rennes demanded a £37 million fee along with the option to sign Giroud on loan or no fee transfer. Chelsea rejected the offer and came to agreement in the region of 28 million whose contract with the French club runs out until 2023 so probably that's with add-ons or something that's what's being said previously before all the stuff I just said in the last couple of minutes now Chelsea played against uh, Wimbledon AFC two days ago in Cobham um, the ones that played were the fringe players like Drinkwater, Moses and I think Moses scored the equaliser they drew 1-1 initially it was thought that Thiago Silva would feature in the game to get some minutes before the beginning of the season with the first team but there's so far no indication that he featured in the game. This game has helped further players, some, um, some players get more minutes for the season ahead if they were to go out on loan and this article was published by the Blue Stand, of course Vince Blue Fit, he's got a lot of writers over there, go check it out, link in the description, I get some more information from him as well so big up to Vince for always supporting me as well. Now we've got Barnsley next week I think it is or the week after I can't remember they won their Carabao Cup we played them in the next round they tweeted we'll see you soon Chelsea Football Club will Mendy be a Chelsea player by that time and will he play in goal for that time hopefully we shall see how it goes we do need our second goalkeeper I don't want to see Caballero come in anymore so hopefully Mendy comes in and we can see whether Lampard picks Mendy or Kepa for the following games after that that's how I see it I also want to say Fernando Torres has been talking recently. Chelsea are building a fantastic team, not just this for this season, but for the future. They'll be close. I don't know if they can compete with Liverpool City. Hopefully they can go for the Premier League right until the very end. But I think Liverpool will still be stronger than both. We, sh we need to see, basically. He also talked about his career at Chelsea that he should have done better. He should have adapted very quickly. Um, I think the Liverpool game on his debut kind of put him off and he didn't really score until West Ham, which I think was about 20 games, 22 games, or maybe even more. Um, but I don't know if Ancelotti should have played Liv um, Torres against Liverpool on that day. It was a big game and maybe that affected his um, you know, confidence. But at the end of the day, he won us Champions League, our first corner. Uh, Mata pinged it in, Drogba scored. Barcelona secured the win, will win it anyway, but Barcelona looked like very certain to be scoring, even though miss, Messi missed a penalty. Um, you never know. Barcelona will always try and find a way with the ref or something. And I'm so glad their club right now is going down like the sink. Ship. Sink. Ship. <laughs> Sinking ship, bro. What am I talking about? I've had a long day, man. You know what I mean? I, I'm working right now, but it's lunchtime. Um, but it's good to be back, man. It's good to be speaking to you guys. The live stream against Brighton was fantastic. Um, a lot of donations from you beautiful people. I've really really appreciate it but as i said if you want me to do a liverpool watch along a liverpool live stream review let me know so i can plan that um but yeah that's about it for me man um make sure you check out the podcast as well link in the description i've got a lot of episodes coming out i've done the preview for brighton the review will be coming out for my team later on today i believe um and we just got a lot of content coming out man it's free as well spotify apple podcast Fantasy Football League, I need to give you guys updates on that. So when I do my preview, I'll be talking about that in the next one. I didn't do too, too badly, but there's a lot of better people like Triple Captain Salah, which I regret not doing as well. But guys, if you enjoy my content, 
smash that like button let's get at least 600 likes subscribe if you're new here hit the notification tune in daily and comment down below your thoughts and opinions you guys know when how it goes 10 minute gang i'm here and i'll see you guys soon peace